Now I'm on the Pop Sugar Beauty set with beauty reporter Kirby Johnson, who has some great polished tips for your nails today. Hi, exactly. Kirby. Hi. So one big trend for fall are matte top coats. And we have been obsessed with Dolce & Gabbana's matte nail coat for a while now. It just debuted last month. But the thing about matte nails is when you apply that top coat, it takes away any shine and any sheen you may have. And a lot of people say it looks a little bit more fashion forward and elegant. And today I'm going to teach you how to make one at home. DIY. DIY. This is great. Okay, so let's get right into it. Yes. What do you need? Okay, so first things first, I think the easiest way is just to go into your kitchen, grab some cornstarch and you can mix your cornstarch with a clear top coat or you can mix it with your regular nail polish which wow. I'm gonna do right now when you mix this it's going to make the polish look really nice and matte so to speak there's gonna be no shine so you just want to take a little bit of your polish and put it out on a plate or something that you can mix it with then I like to take a stir and just combine the cornstarch Okay, is there such a thing as too much yes. cornstarch? Yes, okay, so see how I'm just like lightly putting it in here yes. and kind of mixing it? Because I don't want it to get too clumpy. It's going to be really easy for this cornstarch to get clumpy and gooey. So you just want to mix it. I'm not going to take all of this. I'm going to mix just like this. Okay. Then you want to act fast. Because if you let it dry too quickly, it is going to have this really goopy texture. You can already see it's kind of getting thicker right exactly. now. Exactly. So I'm just taking my brush from my polish, okay. dipping it in here. And then I'm just going to apply on top. It's going to have this really nice matte sheen when it dries. It's such a great trend because you really stop and look at someone's nails when you see that matte because you're so used to this shiny kind of look. Exactly. And all the ladies around the office are already wearing it. Exactly. So everyone's on trend. They're ready to go. And then if you only need cornstarch, it's so easy. You just mix it with your favorite nail polish and you're good to go. So once this dries, it's going to look like the, these other nails that I have that I have no shine. It's a really beautiful color. Really what if you cool. don't have cornstarch? What if you're not a baker? At yes. If you're, you're not, you know, not you're like a kitchen extraordinaire, yeah. you don't have this in your kitchen. Use eyeshadow, okay? It's uh, I know it's. Does really, eyeshadow have cornstarch? No, okay. I mean it has like a powdery consistency, and I think that is the basis of this entire look. That powder is going to help to absorb any of the shine and any of the sheen that the nail polish may have. So you just take a clear top coat. Okay. Okay, this is so so easy, and you're just going to mix it a little bit with the eyeshadow, which I have a pigment, a loose pigment that I'm going to mix it with. I'm going to oh, grab. So you're bas basically making your own homemade color. color. Yeah. So you just mix it up and see how vibrant that is? That's a beautiful color, actually. It's so pretty. And I kind of like the top coat a little bit better because it makes it a little bit more liquidy than the cornstarch. Okay. okay. But it still has that matte finish. Yep. Could you, I guess you could mix different colors if you wanted to. You could to make your own your color. Eyeshadow. You could make, you know, the options are unlimited. So I just take my brush and you want to clean this afterwards if you're going to use it as a top coat. Okay. And you just apply it right on top and look how vibrant that is. That's a good color. And I always say, be really careful. Um, don't go overboard with the with the eyeshadow. And also, a lot of people don't want to break up their eyeshadows mm -hmm. if they're pressed because they're pretty and you probably spend a lot of time and money on them. So um, make sure that uh, you, you have a pigment on standby. That's perfect. You yeah. match your eyeshadow to Sorry, your nail Sorry, I was like polish. getting so into no, it, painting right. my You're nail. Like, I'm like, I what am I saying? Nail. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so just make sure you have a pressed pigment or a, a pigment like this on standby because that way it's loose and you don't have to break up your favorite uh, eyeshadow. That's great. Well, yeah. DIY nail DIY polish. What nail would you polish. name this? I guess we can name it Pop Sugar Pink. Right. Oh, no, I mean, close. it's pretty close.